It's supper time again, and tonight Gina and I will be having two more meals from My Honey's Kitchen. Gina's meal will be chicken alfredo, and mine will be southern pork and veggie low-carb version. If you're interested in seeing how these meals turn out, keep watching. All right, so this will be the second video featuring meals from My Honey's Kitchen, freeze-dried meals. In the last video, Gina and I had two other meals. One was a chicken broccoli low-carb vision version, and Gina had a cheesy broccoli chicken rice uh, meal, which was not a low-carb vision. So tonight, as I mentioned, we're going to be having southern pork and veggie, a low-carb, keto-friendly version, and Gina, the chicken alfredo. Now, very quickly, I'll just go over again the company My Honey's Kitchen is a family-owned small business run out of home by a lady by the name of Ginger. And Ginger, Ginger and I uh, traded emails and Ginger agreed to send me a couple of meals out so that I could share them with you. So My Honey's Kitchen is located in Gallatin, Missouri and so everything is made there and it uses nothing but the best ingredients and more important is what Ginger does not put into them. So there are no preservatives, no food dyes, no added whatsoever in these. You can pronounce everything on the ingredient list. So I'm just going to give you a quick uh, rundown of the two meals and then we'll get on to preparing them. So let me start with the chicken alfredo. So this is the full meal. It is a single serving total calorie count, which I know a lot of people are looking to find out when you're looking at a freeze-dried meal. 541 calories, 27 grams of fat, uh, 27 grams of carbohydrate and 46 grams of protein. Not bad balance for something that's not a ketogenic meal. Just a little bit too hard, too high in the carbs. Ingredients, chicken. Gotta love it when that's the first ingredient. Butter, Parmesan cheese, garlic, flour, cream, pasta, chicken broth, and My Honey's Kitchen Italian and garlic pepper salt uh, spices to spice it up. So that's Gina's meal. My, Gina, my meal being a low carb vision version gets a little lower on the calorie count. I would want to add something to this if this was the only thing I was counting on for supper. In fact, I will I'll have a nice high fat, high protein dessert to go with it. 218 calories, 11 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbohydrate, but four of those are fiber, so you get eight net uh, carbs uh, in that, eight net grams of carbs in the meal, and 19 grams of protein. So nice and high in the protein profile. I really like that. Ingredients zucchini, yellow squash, mushrooms, onions, bell peppers, cauliflower, butter, pork loin roast, garlic, and again, my honey's kitchen steak seasoning creole. So simple ingredients and what we'll do now is we're going to do these in the bag as well. It just makes really easy cleanup, right? So all we really have to do is follow the instructions and that is add the correct amount of boiling water and go through the proper waiting time. We'll get started on that right now. All right, so Gina's going to help me prepare the meal. So that's my, the southern pork, or yours, the creamy alfredo. Instructions are simple open the package. Now we did struggle a little bit with the packages on the last ones because they're really a heavy duty packaging. Did you get yours <laughs> open I this did. time? You got it, Riz? I did this yeah, time. Yeah, I think I'm the one struggling this time. There's an oxygen packet inside that has to come out. Yeah. And it's nice that it's right near the top and not buried. So oxygen packets, take it out. And what is yours to call for in water? Three quarters of a cup. As does yours, I think. Yeah, mine calls. So this is the same instructions for the last meal, three quarters of a cup. And what we found is, in the last meal, is three quarters of a cup uh, didn't leave mine really fully hydrated. I think I'm going to get you to put a full cup in mine. Well, I think we should try it the way it is. Oh, you want to try it? All right. G yeah. Gina likes to follow instructions. I'm the one that takes the risk, but we'll follow the instructions. We'll do the proper amount of water that's called for. We'll stir it up and... Uh, I guess we're sharing spoons, are we? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 look, that's not... Uh, I guess we forgot to show you what that looked like dry, but... Oh, I don't know, maybe it will. Mine looks delicious. I'm thinking mine may need that little extra water. Yeah. That's enough, I don't think. I don't think a full quarter cup there. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. Oh, yeah. Now, little trick, it's also suggested by Ginger on the instructions, is to seal the package up, make sure you get it sealed properly. You don't want to be shaking hot ingredients around with if it's not sealed properly. 
quite hot. Yeah, because gets quite hot. Very hot, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Hold it by yeah, the edges. And, and don't point it to your partner. Mine opened up. I almost got you. <laughs> Thanks. I, think I'm, I don't think my uh, seal's going to work. And we need 20 minutes. So 15 to 20 minutes? 15 to 20 minutes. So what we, we did last night is somewhere around the 15 minute mark, we opened them up and took a look at them to see how well hydrated we were. And we decided that's when we decided to add a little bit more water uh, to them just to get them up to par. And that is suggested by Ginger that you do check it every couple of minutes, five minutes, and add more, to, more water as needed. So it, I would take three quarters of a cup as the minimum but uh, you can add a little bit more. You just don't want to add too much and may end up making your meal very soupy, but you don't want it too dry either. So packages, these are hot, aren't they? We'll just set, we'll bring it back when it's time to serve them up. All right, the big reveal. Gina and I were just commenting that um, we opened them up and took a look at them. We had been shaking them according to the directions on the back. We opened them up and looked at them. Mine looked like adding that extra quarter cup of water, wasn't quite an extra quarter cup of water, made a difference in mine. Gina ended up adding a little bit more to hers. So now that we've cooked four of these, I'm thinking a full cup of water is the better, uh, better choice. Yeah, yeah, the better choice. But, you know, that's an experiential thing. If, you know, if you decide to go with a three quarters cup, you can do like our, like we did, open it up, check it out, add it yourself. And always add extra. You can't take the water out. Yeah, you can always add extra Not and take not, can't take the water out. You're right. But, and let it go for the full 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah, as well. So that that's accurate. All right, let's give it a try and see what it looks like. Oh, sorry. You're right. Always. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, for the many blessings we received. We thank you for this space, for this beautiful world that we're able to enjoy. We thank you for the food that's been prepared for us, and we ask a special blessing on those folks. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, now let's have a look. I was, I was just a little hungry. You were uh, anxious. Little note, I had some trouble because when I ripped it across the top, I, I took it right down to the Ziploc, and so I had some challenges trying to get it closed afterwards, so be cautious of that. Oh, mine smells heavenly. That's a good size. You know, it. Oh, that's everything. Wow. Oh, mine smells amazing as well. I didn't know how mine was going to come up. Do you know, this could almost be served on a bun or something like that, a pulled pork if you Ooh, had buns. Oh, wouldn't that be delicious? Yeah, yeah. But uh, it had to be a low carb bun for me, right? Of course. All right, let's give it a taste. There is a lot of meat in this. Mmm. Wow. Delicious. The texture of mine is spot on. The mushrooms rehydrated. I can see mushrooms, the bell peppers, the meat rehydrated. And sometimes that can be hard to do to get meat to rehydrate properly. Now, in mine, there's beautiful pieces of spinach, but that's not listed on the back of. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you can see the green. Well, let's. Should be showing you our meals, right? No. So that's mine, the, what is mine called? Southern pork and veggie, low carb version. And Gina's is? Mine is the chicken alfredo. Chicken alfredo, and you're right, there's spinach all through this, and it's in the picture on the front, isn't it? It is. It just wasn't listed on the Not back and the ingredients. The yeah, all right, so just a bit of an omission. No problem there. No. Unless you don't like spinach, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay then. Mm. One more taste, one more taste. Delicious. Okay, that one is a real hit. Boy, Ginger likes spicy food. When she said southern pork and veggies, yeah, there's a real Creole spice that uh, it's a nice, you know, good southern spice. That's what it tastes like. And yeah. there's a little kick to this one, too. Little, oh, yeah, okay. I think the pepper. Yeah. Okay. Another successful meal. Thank you, Ginger. These were great. I'm really enjoying mine. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Gina, and I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to eat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, folks. If you have any comments or questions about these meals, please put them in the comments section below. I'll be putting the links to my honey's kitchen so you can reach out to Ginger to, Ginger to try some of her meals. I'll put a link at the end of this video to the last video. And there'll be one more video. I don't know if I'll do it here because there's only one more meal. Or I may do that one after we get home and try it when I'm out in the woods someday. All right, until next time.
get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it'll make all the difference. Bye for now. Bye.